The Thorpe Reprocessing Plant at Sellafield combines all the facilities necessary for reprocessing spent uranium oxide fuel under one roof. The construction of Thorpe was one of the world's most complex civil engineering projects, employing up to 5,000 contractors on site and supporting a further 10,000 with suppliers and subcontractors. Construction began on the Thorpe Head End and Chemical Separation Plants in 1985, and the first fuel was sheared in 1994. Thorpe's operations are divided into three main areas. Fuel receipt and storage. Head end plant operations, where spent fuel is chopped up and dissolved in nitric acid. And chemical separation, where uranium, plutonium and waste products are separated out. After three to four years in a reactor, nuclear fuel becomes less efficient, so is removed. 97% of the used fuel can be recycled to produce new fuel, 96% uranium, 1% plutonium. The rest is nuclear waste. Transport flasks containing used fuel from the power stations are delivered by rail to the Sellafield site. Overseas customers' fuel is delivered to Barrow in Furness on purpose-built ships. On arrival at Sellafield, the fuel is removed from the transport flasks under water and stored in storage ponds to allow the fuel to cool before reprocessing. The Thorpe Receipt and Storage Facility comprises two separate ponds, 8 metres deep, with a total storage capacity of about 3,000 tonnes. The empty flasks are sent for cleaning and maintenance before being returned to the power station for another consignment. Once the fuel has cooled, it is monitored and transferred from the storage pond to the head-end plant shear cave, where the fuel is chopped into sections. The fuel drops into a basket in a dissolver vessel where the fuel is dissolved in nitric acid. The fuel cladding remains in the basket. The dissolved fuel liquor is forwarded to the chemical separation plant within Thorpe, where solvent extraction takes place to separate the 3% wastes from the 96% uranium and 1% plutonium. The wastes from this process are sent to the high-level waste plants for concentration, storage and eventual conversion to glass. The uranium and plutonium are converted to oxide powders and stored. Both the uranium and the plutonium can be recycled and manufactured into new uranium oxide or mixed oxide, MOX, fuels.